Carlos Benoit is with us here at the John Madola Show, Keystone College uh, via Arkansas. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, how you found your way to, to be a Keystone College giant. Well, um, first I went to Lackawanna College for two years. Then um, being there, I got the opportunity to go to the University of Arkansas at Palm Bluff. But before that, um, I met with Coach. I went on a recruiting visit with him. And I really love the program. I loved everybody in there. Like they, have, since the beginning, they treated me like family. So it's always been like a goal to to be in here. So after Arkansas, I tore my leg room, so I had to get surgery. Um, I couldn't play my senior year, but um, Coach Chef gave me a chance to come back, and he said, "If you're willing to work, then we have a spot for you." And that's always something I've wanted. So I said, "Coach, I'll, I'll be there." That's great to hear. So you found yourself back here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Let's talk yes, a little definitely. bit about getting back healthy. And, and are you at full strength yet, or are you still working to be? Um, I'm back at full strength already. Um, the the process was a very long process. You know, you you hit your up and up ups and downs, and it gets tough. But I just had to keep on going. Like I wanted to play baseball, and I knew what I had to do. Well, you always hear stories, you know, people are selling you stuff, you know, throughout life, whether it's a teacher, a coach, a parent, or at a store, for that matter. Um, did Coach Shevchik, did he paint the picture accurately for you as far as what he said? Hey, here's what you're going to get at Keystone College? He painted it very accurately. He said, I'm going to put you to work, and if you're willing to work, then you're going to do good. And I've been learning a lot from him. I've learned a lot of things that, about myself that I needed to learn, and it's been a really great experience right here. How about, uh, you know, seeing some of these guys, we talked with RJ and Nick, and you know, seeing guys from across the country at Keystone, probably not much different than where you were before as far as, you know, seeing people from all over, but uh, how you feel like you're fitting into the piece of the puzzle here for the Giants? I feel like I'm fitting in really good, honestly. Like, I'm, I've, I've started off in a slump, you know, but I'm getting back better and trying to show them what I, what I really am made of. I like that they saw a little bit in the fall, but they didn't see the whole thing, you know. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm sure Coach Chevchik, uh, he loves that smile of yours because you're always smiling. How about what has impressed you about this team? Obviously, you go from a, a team like yours, a Division One team, and you come to Keystone. How about the talent you see at Keystone? You see a lot of hard workers? Yeah, I do see a lot of hard workers. The pitchers work hard every day. Like we always grind with each other. Um, we always compete with each other. It's always a really good scene. And um, with the hitters too, like I like to talk back to the hitters, you know, to my teammates and stuff. And they like to talk back to me. So it's always fun being there. Always a little bit of fun. That's good. How about, uh, let's talk about your family. Who's there for you to support you and give you the encouragement uh, you need? Um, my mom is in New York, so I always call her, you know, if I need some cooking tips, you know, now I know that Carlina can cook, so I, I could go to him, but <laughs> I call my mom usually to help me cook, and um, my, my dad, just, they, they've all supported me through this road, they know what I need needed to do, they've always pushed me to become my best, and I'm glad to have them here. So as a Southpaw, let's talk about a couple of your pitches. Is there always one you're working on to, to throw another one in the mix? Uh, right now I have four pitches and it's hard to find another one because, you know, all the grips you have to learn and stuff. So right now I have a fastball, a curveball, a slider, and a changeup that I'm working on. Well, that I've worked on already. It's it's there. It's there, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, those, those are the pitches I've been trying to get to like where I need them to be and I feel like it's coming it's coming together everything's gonna it's falling into pieces well Carlos Benoit it's a pleasure to speak with you and continued success and hard work there at Keystone College okay thank you sir